Hey gamers, Maniac here with GameAccess.net doing a quick little how-to video. If you're like me and you own an Apple TV, one of the best reasons to get an Apple TV is not just for the set-top box streaming features that it comes with out of the box, but the awesome features that it offers if you happen to have an iPhone or an iPad or a new MacBook or something along those lines. Depending upon your model phone, you can actually wirelessly stream all the content that's on your iPhone or iPad or Apple, you know, computer to your high definition screen. And that's awesome. You know, that's an awesome feature. It sure saves you having to buy cables and things like that. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to make use of that. I'm using version 7.1 for the iOS on this particular device and the most recent version as of this recording date for the Apple TV. If you want to stream all of your content, it's a little bit more complicated than just simply, you know, what it used to be. I actually don't like it as, I, I don't really like the new command as much as I used to. Um, it used to be you could double tap and then hit a button. Now you actually have to go from the bottom of the screen and swipe upwards like this. From here, you will see a little icon marked AirPlay. That is what we want to go for. Make sure that your wireless is connected to the same wireless service that the Apple TV is connected to, otherwise you won't get an AirPlay icon at all. Select your Apple TV from the list, and if you just simply enable it, all you'll basically get out of the first place is your music or video footage or things like that. If you want to have all content, you just enable mirroring, so you're done, and now as you can see here, All of my content is now mirroring on my Apple TV and on my big screen. If you have an iPad of some sort, the command is very similar. Whichever way your screen is oriented, just simply swipe from the bottom once again. You're going to get a shorter list right here. And once again, tap AirPlay. Select which Apple TV you'd like. And once again, enable mirroring. As you can see right here, the Apple TV is once again mirrored. I'll just close that and reorient. Mirroring is pixel perfect, which is why you can see that there are black bars on the side of your screen. If you enable things like photographs or video, it will take up the full screen automatically. Also, some games might take up the full screen automatically. It depends upon how the game is coded. So, just be aware, I'm using iOS 7.1 in order to do these features if let's say Apple releases a brand new iOS the command may be different it was different in earlier versions this is iOS 7 exclusive you can usually get partial streaming from almost all compatible devices however mirroring meaning full mirroring like you're seeing right here is only compatible with iPhone 4S and better, meaning the 4S, the 5, the 5S, I don't know about the 5C, and the iPad, the second generation iPad and better. So hopefully this guy has helped you out quite a bit. If you're having a bit of a problem swiping upwards on your iPhone or trying to get the system to swipe upwards or recognize that you're swiping upwards, uh, just be aware, I have seen that cases that protect this area and cover this area up hat can impede this this gesture so you may have to remove the case or futz around a little bit if you're using a 4s case like i am i'm sorry a 5s case like i am right here um just try swiping from directly the bottom past the screen basically it seems like the system better understands a screen uh, swipe starting from off the screen now, obviously this is the screen right here than it does from a, from a swipe starting from the bottom portion of the screen. So just keep that in mind if you're having problems your case might be impeding the gesture being recognized. So just keep that in mind. Until next time guys, this is Maniac with GameAccess.net over and out.